Welcome back to TV Nation. Heaven or hell? Do you believe in heaven and hell? Yes. Where do you think you're going? Heaven. Go to heaven. 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 Hopefully, heaven. Of all those who believe they are going to heaven, raise their hands. <laughs> well, whichever way we go, we shall have friends. Where do you think you're going? Hell. Hell? Yes. You've got a lot of company. <laughs> Watch this. I'm standing on Main Street in Columbiana, Alabama. Looks as if it could be any town in the United States. There's only one difference. This town is headed for hell. Every 10 years, the Southern Baptists use a formula to draw up a map of the United States that shows exactly what percentage of people from each county are bound for hell. This formula is based on church attendance, the membership level of other faiths, and the general observation of sinning. Though the map is top secret, we got our hands on the Alabama portion. We're trying our best right. to go everywhere in this state to tell people to go straight to heaven. And they go to heaven by faith in Jesus Christ. That's the only way to God. Now, and, it, and, and it looks to me that, that a lot of people in Shelby right now aren't, aren't but, headed but for But there are a lot of them in Houston County, 30 to 50 percent. And, and I would say once again, we are not saying that there are 1.8 million lost people in Alabama. Right. They may be more than that. More than 1.8 million lost souls in Alabama, and a whole bunch of them were in one place, Shelby County, where 63.5% of the population were hell-bound. What's the deal? Are you guys going to hell? Yeah. You're going to hell, both of you? Do you care? Are you a sinner? Uh, from time to time. From time to time? You consider yourself saved? Oh. Uh. No. No? Some folks in Shelby didn't even know that they were hell-bound. <laughs> I don't know what I can do about it, but I didn't realize that was a fact. We believe if you live in this world, if you follow God's commandments, if you do the right thing, for the most part, because nobody is perfect, God will take care of you. In the world. He sure will take care of you. According to the Southern Baptists, 100% of non-Christians are headed for hell. You think uh, that Jesus Christ was the Son of God, but we don't believe that. Uh-oh. It didn't seem fair that he would have to go to hell just because he was born in Pakistan. I checked back with the Southern Baptists. I feel sorry for the, the Muslims and the Jews because they're, they're just born into that faith and they don't even know that the only way they can be saved is, is by becoming um, you know, a Baptist, that must be no, hard no, for them. No, not becoming a Baptist, but becoming a Christian. God, we believe that people who are Christian are people who've accepted Jesus Christ. So they can be saved, but... Oh, yes, but, if they accept uh, Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. And but like had, Jewish people or, or Muslims, they couldn't be saved because they don't... Well, of course they, they can be saved by accepting Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ but once as they their personal Savior accept Jesus Christ, then they aren't Jews or Muslims mm -hmm. anymore, are they? Well, I, you know, that's debatable. What wasn't debatable was that Shelby County was going to hell, and somebody had to do something about it. Brother Ray Good morning. morning. How you doing? All right, fine. Your county needs you. Let's go. Well, let's go get the county then. His name was Brother Reburn Daly. Saved at age seven, Baptist preacher by 21, this was the man who just might save Shelby County. So today, it looks like we're going to go out and we're going to do some witnessing, because that's how you save people, right? Uh -huh. You can look at someone and you can tell if he's saved or not. Yes, Lord, yes. You're a child of God. You've truly right. been saved. That's right. Okay, so we can mark this down, yes, sir. Well, Brother Reburn saved the masses, I kept score. Sir, oh, we're, we're, not, we're not selling. I ain't got time. We're not selling. We're just going to talk to you about Jesus. We had this one uh, particular lady. We love her dearly. And she had a son that didn't go to church. So he was telling me he went and rented videotapes, these dirty videotapes, and masturbate off in front of him in front of the TV. But not, he didn't do it in front of you. No, no. He, he had sat on you. the front porch. Next yes, time. that's right. Let me imagine. They were going back by myself no more. My name's Reuben Daly. I'm from Model Valley. So we can put another one down here, there, Mr. Deal. Another one down? Yes, sir. And everything was going just great until. Hey, Reuben Daly. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. His name was Joe, and he wasn't from these parts. Why? Yes, let Why me, do you yes, say I'm that there is no God? Yes, I'm telling you. No, there is a God. Why aren't you uh, sacrificing animals? 
I don't sacrifice anyone. I know, but why that's, not? That's, that's, See, that's oh, myth. Okay. Forget about all the doctrine. Forget about your baptism. Okay. Forget about all that. Okay. But what are we going to do about the blood? About the blood? blood of Jesus Christ. Do you know Christ? Have you met him? Oh, yeah, buddy. Where? Where do you meet him? I uh, Up in Anayana, first uh, Baptist that's church. A hell, I would say that's a hallucination. That's, that's creation of your own oh, mind and brain. Oh, God, hip your soul. I wish, I <laughs> wish that God would open you up. Let me ask you just one question. Yeah. What would you do if you was to wake up tonight or tomorrow and hail and realize I have, I told you the truth? No, Christ is no, a no. sacrifice. I'm going to pray for you, brother, because I love you. I love you so. I make God bless you. I'm going to pray for you because I love everybody. That includes you. Joe might have been lost, but thinking back on our day, I felt as though our mission had been a success. I called Dr. Shannon to see if he could change the map. So we were pretty, pretty sure that we probably brought that percentage down to, oh, I don't know, maybe 55% or so. And, and, and you, you don't have any numbers or anything that would back us up on that. No, the only reports we get, really, are at the end of the year. So we'd have to wait a few months until it became official. But in our hearts, we knew that fewer souls were headed for hell in Shelby County. We did pretty well, didn't we? Yes, we did. Look at that.